Matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. God. That's right. If that was actually the people of the Bible, right. you've been lied to, black man. That's right. You the gods on this earth. That's right. You the children, you the little boys and girls who God put on this earth not to be human. Hmm. You're something else. Bring and you've been beaten to hell so you don't even know it. That's right. You, I know I run fast. I know I'm stronger. I know I, they, they need me to play in their leagues. They need me to do this. They needed me to build this mother, That's this right. place. That's right. I know it. But what, so what's going on? We you been beaten to your ass has been whooped for hundreds of years. Right. That's what's going on. Right. And you've been lied to for hundreds of years. That's what's going on. Right. That's why you can smile in the oppressor's face and you don't even know who the oppressor is anymore. Right. That's how that happened. That's how they know, but you don't. So they cool. Long as you don't know. Long as you don't know. Long as you could they taught you're dis you're miseducated. They're taught you're miseducated. That's reality. That's reality. Come on. But Israel, but the children of God, doth not know. They don't know who they are. A donkey knows where he lives at. A, a ass, meaning a cow, know where they. I mean, um, a, 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 a ox knoweth where he lives. He know his home. If he wander off, he just wander right back home because he knows where he is. He know who his owner is. He know what his home, where his home is. He know. A donkey knows. But Israel, what? Doth not know. You blacks and Hispanics, you don't know who you are. You don't know where your home is. So you call yourself Egyptology, you call yourself African, you call yourself Asiatic, you call yourself original man, you call yourself uh, Moor, you call yourself all type of names. So if we the same people, why we ain't calling ourselves by the same name? I say Baptist, he say Catholic, he say uh, Moor, he say Egyptology, he say uh, Asiatic, black man. What's going on? What's happening with our people? What other people you know deal like that? They all the same people, but they call themselves coming from a different nationality or a different ethnicity. That's crazy as hell. And that only that ignorance, that foolishness, only belongs to one people, and that's us. That's the black man. We the only ones separated by something so simple as that. Watch this. But Israel doth not know. Come on. My people doth not consider. The real people of God don't even consider it. Don't even think about it. Wake up at the job, at the store, at the at the baby mama, however you at, you ain't it ain't even crossing your mind. Who who am I? That's right. No, 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 I know a black I, I get all that. I, I'm sh I, right, right, right. But no, for real. Who who are we? Who are we? We don't even think about stuff like that. Don't even cross our mind. We, we, we born and we die before we ever had that thought. Bring it on, dog. It's only one nation that deal like that. That's the so-called black man. That's the so-called black man. Nobody else act like that. Nobody else go through that. Right? Was that it on that? Yes, sir. Go back to Deuteronomy. Go back to Deuteronomy. Now, remember, one and one. Now, remember, when we received our nationality, when we received our heritage originally, we were all in one place. We were all in one place. Read that again, then give me Deuteronomy 33. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel uh -huh. on this side of Jordan uh -huh. in the wilderness, uh -huh. in the plain over against the Red Sea. Uh -huh. That's when we first came, when the Lord said, Moses, go and get my people up out of Egypt. Tell Pharaoh, I said, let my people go. Everybody know the story, right? Familiar with the story. Go up in there, get my babies up out of there. Tell Pharaoh he got the wrong, he messing with the wrong one. Bring it out. I'm going to destroy him. Let my people go. That was us. So when we first came up out of there, we weren't all scattered. One of us in Egyptology, one of us in Catholic, one of us in Baptist, one of us a Muslim, one of us a this, one of us a that. That ain't what was going on. When Moses spoke to us, he spoke to us what? The words of God. Give me that. Sirach chapter 24, verse 23. Yes, sir. These are things we ain't been taught in church. But we think we're supposed to be getting the truth. Right. We've been lied to. Mm -hmm. It ain't that they don't know. 
It's that if they tell you this, they're going to change this world. That's and they're right. not trying to change this world because they good with you being on the bottom. That's right. That's right. They good with you. As long as they pockets is lined with your with the last of your money, with your bill money, That's right. your baby's food money, as long as they can charge you them tithes, they ain't about to tell you what they saw in that book. Bring it out. Not in truth. Not, not for real. Come on. The book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. Come on. All these things uh -huh. are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God that he gave to Moses to teach his children all together before we were scattered. Well, some of us in, in, in as slaves in the Caribbean islands, some of us slaves in the, 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 the Americas, some of us as slaves in Russia, some of us as slaves in the UK, some of us as slaves in Africa. Before all of that happened, Moses gave us the commandments of our father. He gave that to us all together. Watch this. Even the law, uh -huh. which Moses commanded for an heritage, for a religion, for an heritage, for a, for a doctrine, for an heritage. It was our heritage. It's our heritage. It's our heritage, not religion. Other people have gotten their filthy hands on your records, but make no mistake, it's your records. Yes, it does right. not belong to them. Mm -hmm. They took it and they understand the power of it, so they are able to take it and understand exactly how to, keep, to control you. Right. Exactly how to make you captives. That is your book. That are, those are your records. Mm -hmm. Go back. Was that it on that? Yeah, that was it. Go back. Go, go back. Deuteronomy 1 and 1, then give me... Um, Deuteronomy 33. Yes, sir. So when Moses was commanding us, or when Moses was speaking to us, we were all together, all in one place. Now we think to get away from our brother, we doing good. To separate, to get above my brother. Now I'm, I got more money than you, right? I can come and I can take your girl because I have more. I can buy a nicer vehicle. All these are the thoughts of the black man. Mm -hmm. All of these. Not no. How my brother. How can I, matter of fact, give me Leviticus 25 and 35. Bring it out. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that the Bible don't support that nigga mentality. Mm -hmm. That you, you, you're doing good if you're above your brother. Teach. You're better than your brother. Right. That The Bible don't say nothing about that. Because what we call it nowadays, golly. Oh, I'm so golly. Ain't that what we say in rap songs now? Ain't that what our sisters say if they ask is fat? I'm so golly. That's what we say. We, we attribute godliness to all these ratchet ass Negro uh, trifling ass ways that we didn't picked up. That's, right. That's what we do. Jeez. And whatever is godly, we don't call it godly. Mm. That's right. We don't call that godly. We call that corny. We call it, ah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. That's what we do. That's what we do with it. But it's our heritage. And I'm not mad that that's how we feel about it because you've been lied to and everybody know they've been lied to. We grown now, so mama can't whoop our ass and make us go to church now. You feel me? Grandma can't come and check you when you got to go to church. She can't do that no more because you know it was lies when you was going. You like, Grandma, you can't see this nigga. He play, he pimping up here. You can't, for you, uh, whatever. As long as you happy, whatever. That's how, you know what I mean? But now we grown, we know it's lies. So I'm not mad that we have these certain uh, ignorances or things that we don't know at this point. But this is our book and we've been lied to. Watch this, come on. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 35. Now remember, the, 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 the thought is, how does God see the way we're supposed, or the dynamic that we're supposed to have with our brother as it pertains to us being better, lesser, or whatever? Watch this. And if thy brother uh -huh. be waxing poor Come on. and fallen in decay with thee, uh -huh. then thou shalt relieve him. Wow. It said, then you shall relieve your brother. Right. We can't even we can't even fathom this law right now. That's right. We can't even be getting you. My brother robbed me. Mm -hmm. My brother will t listen. If I, if my brother know what I got on me right now, he gonna need me to come up off of it. Bring I it ain't trying to, you know what I mean? Then I'm gonna have to kill the nigga. Right. That's how. That's all my. We can't even begin to to fathom what a a whole millions and millions of people operating like that called black man. Wow. We can't even fathom that right now. Read on. Watch this. Yay. Though he be a stranger, even if you don't know him, even if this a brother from around the block you ain't never seen him before. Come on. Or a sojourner. Or somebody who just passing through. You know he ain't gonna, you ain't gonna never see him again. Come on. That he may live with thee. That live with thee don't mean you move him in your house. That mean he good, you living, oh, he gotta live too. 
You see one. You see a man in your. You see a man of your kindred, of your brethren, and he ain't doing good. Relieve him. Oh hell no! It won't be none of, none of us hungry. It won't be none of us broke. Right. Oh, no sir. Right. It won't be none of us leaking on the street. Oh no sir. Right. Relieve him. Then you shall relieve him. Imagine billions of people operating like that. We would not be the la the the lowest nation, brother. Right. We would not be the weakest nation, and we are a nation. A black man. And woman is a nation. That's right. We are a nation. Come on, was that it on that? It's more. Come on. Take thou no usury of him. That means don't 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 deal with him. Don't help him out just so he can pay you back a little more. Meaning add interest. Meaning take the brother. Listen, I'm gonna get you straight, right? But I want 15 points back, right? I want 10 points. That's a little high. So we let's say I want five points back. Yeah, I'm gonna need five points back on that, right? No, no, the Bible say what? Take thou no usury of him. Take no usury of him. Take no usury. Why? If he down, you down. Mm -hmm. You down. It's sort of like this. If your brother, you go to, you got a brother, right? So let's say y'all was, let's say you had a twin brother, right? And both of y'all in high school, right? And you know, you y'all known for being clean. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all always shine. Y'all always you know well dressed, well kept. Shining, everybody know you, everybody know that. But then your brother slip in some doo-doo. What you gonna do? Try to help song. Say it again. Try to help the song. But so right, why? Okay, I know you guys. Because basically, like you, like, like you saying, basically what you saying is, okay, if we both know for being fresh, right, and he slip in doo doo, right, I need to slip in the doo doo too. Pretty much what you saying. Well, <laughs> how about this? How about you get the doo doo off of him? How about you feel the shame? How about you feel the shame? Matter of fact, give me love thy brother as thyself. Uh, John, first, was it First John three? Right. Is that First John three? Love your brother as yourself. First John. First John three, I think. Right. Give me that. Watch this. I'm gonna show you. So you went slipping the dude because nah, you don't want him in it, right? But I feel you. I get the sentiment, right? right? right. So the point is, the point is, you know that you have to feel like, yo, damn, I can't be out here like this if he ain't out here like right. this. You know, that's my brother. I can't just, I'm just gonna walk. Oh, you slipped in doo-doo. Right. You know what I mean? You gonna be embarrassed if he embarrassed. Now right. somebody start laughing at him. Ah, what you gonna walk off? No, no, you gonna be like, yo, don't laugh at you. That's like, so that's the nature that God said the entire nation is supposed to have about each other, whether you know them or whether you don't. Watch this. Watch this. Remember, hey, brothers, before y'all go, here's the word that says you gotta love your brother like you love yourself. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Right. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Come on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Uh -huh. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So just like you would feel about yourself, you got to feel about your brother. Your brother slipping some doo-doo. Hold on. We ain't clean. Not he ain't clean. We ain't clean. Hold on. We got to fix this. Hold on, bro. Look, hold on, I got you. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let me see what I got in my bag. You gonna, you figure it out. You know what I mean? That's what the Bible says. Now imagine, that's, for, that's what you do for somebody you know. That's what you do for somebody you know. Go back to Leviticus 30, I mean 25. Mm -hmm. The Bible is telling you to deal with your entire nation like that. Do you know your entire nation? No. So the Bible telling us, if I see you bad, I'm, the Bible says, yo, I got to go and I don't know him. He don't know me. We got to make sure we good though. As a nation, we got to make sure we're good. Now, I get it. There's certain things we have to fix in our nation before we can get to that point. I get it. Nevertheless, we got to start somewhere. But that's the, I want y'all to see the, the, the how far we've fallen from who we actually are. I want you, I need you to see how how way, how left we done went, man. How low we done went. We, we, we bad out here, bro. We bad out here. Come on. Leviticus chapter 25, verse... 35. Come on. And if thy brother be waxen poor uh -huh. and fallen in decay with thee, Come on. then thou shalt relieve him. Uh -huh. Yea, though he be a stranger uh -huh. or a sojourner, uh -huh. that he may live with thee. Uh -huh. Take thou no usury of him. That means don't try to come up on him. Don't try to see your brother here in a bad place. So the only thing you got on your mind is how to come up. How to come up off the back of a broken, off, off your broken brother. Come on. Or, right, that's how Esau did us. That's how Esau get down. He taught you interest. He taught you add, uh, uh, add unto yourself and not to your brother. He taught you that. 
So, right, the poorest people pay the highest interest rate, the highest taxes. Right. The poorest people are on the lowest, I mean, the highest tax bracket. Right. Well, it would be the lowest tax bracket paying the highest taxes. Come on. on the, and Google that. Come on. Verse 36. Take thou no usury of him uh -huh. or increase, but fear thy God. It says fear God. Because the fear of this brother, you don't know who this man is. You don't know how much power he got for you to deal with him a certain type of way. So the Bible says fear God. God told you how to deal with him. So whether you know him or not, you better deal with him like God said. Because you fear God. Come on. Was that it? No. Come on. That thy brother uh -huh. may live with thee. That your brother, just like you good, just like you eating, your brother eating too. Right. Your brother eating too. Whether you know him or you don't know him. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.